Hi, this is George Cow. Welcome back to the LinkedIn course. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to add more connections to your LinkedIn profile, to your LinkedIn account. And the reason why we want to add more contacts is because the more first degree contacts you have on your LinkedIn, uh, the, the higher up you, you, you land on the search engine for LinkedIn. Uh, I'll just give you an example. You know, if I search, I don't know, I'm just going to search yoga <laughs> and search, see what happens. When I search yoga, right, and then I click on people to sort by the people, notice that LinkedIn gives me my first degree connections first. Now, some of you don't even know, well, some of, I get asked the question, what does first degree connection mean? It means you are directly connected with that person on LinkedIn. You have asked to be their LinkedIn connection or they've asked to be yours and one of you has, you know, you, you, they, you've asked them and they've approved or they've asked you and you've approved. So you, you become first degree connections. Now, what does it mean? So me and Trinity are first degree connections. If Trinity has a friend named Bob uh, and I'm not connected directly with him on LinkedIn, he would be my second degree connection, right? And then Bob's LinkedIn connection that is not connected to me would be my third degree LinkedIn connection. So that's, where, that's how it works. And so the more first degree connections you have, the higher you show up in LinkedIn search results because guess what? LinkedIn really prizes. I searched yoga, which is lots of people have the word yoga on their profile and LinkedIn puts my first degree people first. Does that make sense? So that's why it's important to be the first degree contact for as many of your people, uh, your friends and colleagues as, as possible so that you show up whenever they search words that are in your profile somewhere. So how do you add more warm, uh, how do you add more connections? So start with the people you already know. So friends, colleagues, uh, people you've met at events that you wanna keep in touch with, classmates, that kind of thing, right? Business partners, previous clients, uh, clients, etc. So these are what I call warm contacts. Warm contacts, and this is the mind map, which I hope you'll um, recognize by now. This is a free public mind map, it's available uh, to you um, in the materials for this course. Um, I'll include it in the, uh, the notes for this video as well. So your warm contacts are people who, imagine you email somebody, you send someone an email message. If they recognize your name right away, they, they see your email, they recognize your name, and they feel some kind of a good feeling towards you, that's what I call a warm contact. So again, friend, client, previous client, colleague, previous colleague, classmates, people you volunteer with, you know, et cetera. Okay, so add as many of your warm contacts as you can on LinkedIn. Uh, and um, there's two ways of doing this that I give you here. One way is using the people you may know tool. Uh, I'm gonna go to that next, but first, uh, actually, I'm, I'm gonna, in fact, I'm gonna move these. The first thing we should do is import contacts. So uh, let's go ahead and click on here and see where it takes us. Okay, so basically when you, um, when you come here, uh, you're going to find that LinkedIn gives you the option to log in to various email accounts you have. And if you have a Gmail account, you just put your Gmail account in there, click continue, and then LinkedIn will ask Google, will ask, Google will ask your permission whether LinkedIn can go in there and get your contacts. And I would say yes. I've done the same thing to my Gmail account. It's perfectly fine. Um, and just, you know, if, it, and if you have another email software, that's not one of these, right? So for example, Apple, uh, Mac Mail, uh, you would click any email and then you would, um, uh, you would come down here and you would click on upload contacts file. Okay, upload contacts file. And uh, if you don't know how to create a contacts file, you can click on learn more and there will be some, uh, there will be some, some links. So for example, if you have a Mac and you're trying to export a contact file from the Mac uh, address book, click on here and there, uh, here is the, um, the full directions on how to do that. Okay, so um, I hope that's helpful. And once you've uploaded a contacts file, so I've actually created, you can also um, uh, create a spreadsheet uh, and, uh, and export the spreadsheet as a CSV file. CSV stands for comma separated values. You can Google what, what CSV means, but you can use a spreadsheet. Um, I've, I've actually given an example. This is a Google Drive spreadsheet. By the way, Google Drive is an awesome tool. I use it every single day. I love it. 
Google Drive spreadsheet, um, I've just put in some, some, some of my fake email addresses, and actually this is a real email address of a very great uh, business person that I, that I know. He, uh, anyway, check out his website, his website sivers.org. Um, so I just put in some, some email addresses here, okay? And then I, I exported it. Um, I, let's see here. Uh, I download it as a CSV file, and I've already I've already done that. It's already on my desktop. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to uh, choose the file, and I'm going to um, okay. Let's see here. All right, uh, you're not able to see see my screen here, but I'm going to I'm going to choose a file. You can't you can't see it, but I just selected the file that's sample LinkedIn. I click on upload file. Okay, and well, I want to show you this process because there's a tricky part to it that. Um, that some people make a mistake and, and uh, it's unfortunate. So I'm gonna, gonna just kind of show you. It does take some time for it to load. <laughs> you guys, you can tell even if it was just three email addresses, LinkedIn is very busy with hundreds of millions of users. And so, um, okay. So basically, uh, check. Okay, this is this is where it's tricky. Okay, pay attention here. I just uploaded three email addresses. Okay. And LinkedIn didn't tell me whether this is, I don't know why they do this. They didn't tell me whether the email addresses I uploaded are, you know, in LinkedIn. Can I connect with just the people I uploaded? It doesn't tell you. So what it does do is it says, pick up where you left off, step two of two. These are actually all of the different people that I uploaded in the past. These are all the different random email addresses that I uploaded in the past from my Gmail. And the thing is, I don't necessarily want to add them, invite them to connect on LinkedIn, right? Because it says add 2,000 people, select people to network. Do not do this. So here's the key. You've got to, when you get to step two of two, it says pick up where you left off. Here's the key. Click on skip this step. Okay, skip this step. Okay. Thanks for searching your contacts. Come back anytime to find your connections. Now it's giving me the next uh, the next thing in their process to say, do you use Outlook email, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to click yes or no here. You can do that later if you want. But what I want to show you now is um, go to manage imported contacts. Okay, so, so first of all, you might say, well, George, how do you get there, get here in the future? It's in the, the LinkedIn mind map. You click on this and uh, it brings you to this screen and click on Manage Imported Contacts. Okay, I'm gonna go there. Okay, so imported contacts are not people I have invited to connect on LinkedIn yet. And the reason why I haven't invited them is because I only want to invite my warm contacts. People who, when I invite them, they recognize my name right away, they have some good feelings towards me, chances are they're gonna say yes to being connected and oh, I'm so glad that this happened because LinkedIn address book is buggy. It oftentimes does this kind of thing. So I'm going to go back and um, go back to that place where I can uh, find those. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click um, add connections. Okay, this is another way to get to this screen. I'm going to click manage imported contacts again. Hopefully the second time that I come here, it'll pull it up. But basically, once I have so step one was to import as many email addresses as you can. Step two was to skip that step, right? Step three is to come into your importer contacts and manually select the people that you want to invite to connect on LinkedIn. Now, why is it that, gosh, LinkedIn, this is, this is terrible. Uh, I wish it was working properly when, I, when I'm doing this video here. But uh, even if it doesn't, I think you kind of get the idea. Um, the reason why I don't just add thousands of people as a LinkedIn connection is because if enough people say, I don't know who George is, my LinkedIn account can get suspended. And so can yours. If you add a bunch of people who don't really know you and who don't want to connect with you, that's why it's important to add your warm contacts. And I can't believe this is happening, but uh, that's just the way it is on LinkedIn. This happens to me regularly. But anyway, let's just assume that this was working. When you come in here, you would see a bunch of contacts you would look for the ones that have an IN symbol, a blue IN symbol next to their name. And, and, and those are the people that already have a LinkedIn account, and then you can add them uh, as a LinkedIn connection. I, I would advise only adding people who already have a LinkedIn account. This is really bad. Um, 
but let me just try one last time. See, you see the symbol here in, okay, let me, let me, um, yeah, this symbol, this IN symbol will be next to some of the names you're going to see in the imported contacts. And I would advise you only to add the people who have an IN symbol. If you add people who don't have an IN symbol, it means that LinkedIn will start to bug them about joining LinkedIn. Oh, George has invited you to join LinkedIn and they might not want to join LinkedIn. Okay, so only add the people again when you're in the imported contact section, only add, uh, only select uh, the people to invite who have an in symbol and who are also your warm contacts. So I hope that this is helpful. I know this was a little bit confusing due, due to LinkedIn not working properly at this time, but I hope that I've given you enough of a, of a tutorial where when you do this yourself, uh, it will make sense. And I invite you to, to try do this, doing this yourself and watch this video again and kind of walk through the process. And as always, if you have any questions, uh, ask the question uh, in the comment section of this video and I look forward to hearing how uh, your LinkedIn life improves as a result of this course. So I wish you well.